So here we are back again from Mr. Vance's basement with another art lesson. This week is going to be all about movement and action lines. So action lines are the lines that follow along the path of a person's arms or legs or body while they are moving, doing something where they're not standing still, whether that's running or jumping or doing a headstand or whatever it may be. When people are doing these things, their legs and their arms and their bodies aren't in nice, neat, perfectly straight positions like we always want to draw them, okay? So we have to know where to see those lines while someone or something is moving, okay? So we're actually gonna have two options for this, uh, this assignment this week. One is you're gonna be able to go outside and find what, Johnny? Sticks. Okay, which we're gonna do here in just a minute. Or the other option is to use aluminum foil. Um, that's what I'm gonna use for the 3D option. Or if you have Play-Doh or something like that, you could use that. You could use clay if you have that. You could even use pipe cleaners or twist ties, anything that's bendable um, that will hold its shape when you move it into a certain certain position, okay? Um, you ready to go outside, buddy? Yes. All right, let's go. We'll be back in a minute. In my backyard now with Johnny, um, we're gonna go try to find some sticks to use for our action line artwork. I brought a piece of paper with me to use so we can make sure our sticks fit on our paper. All right, are you ready, buddy? Where do you think we'd find sticks out here in our backyard? Do you think they would be in the grass or back there under the trees? Back under the trees. Let's go see what we can find. You coming? Yes. All right, did you find a stick there? It's a root. A root, it is, so it's not going to come out of there, is it? So that won't work. I suppose we could cut it out of there, but that's probably not, good. not a good thing to do. All right, let's go outside the fence and see what we can find. It leads to what tree? It goes down into there, and then it turns into that tree. It goes up there, okay. Do you think there's any sticks over there? Do you want to go see? There could be. Let's go see. Oh, there's lots here. Perfect. Now that was another root. What about this one right here? It's got a lot of branches on it. I could take some of those off. I think that's probably too big for our paper, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's not really gonna fit. Look, what if we use this? Okay. Ooh, I think maybe that direction. Like it could be someone that's jumping. We could use it this way and we could draw the rest of their body up here and maybe the bottom part of their leg down there. Or we could turn it like that way maybe, and it could be someone that's jumping and maybe this could be their back leg and then their front leg. I mean, we could add their arms and their head up there. What do you think? Uh -huh. You think we can make that work? Uh -huh. Okay, all right, you ready to go back inside? Yeah. All right. All right, so we're back inside from going out back to find a stick for Johnny to use. Um, Johnny, what'd you find here? A stick. A stick. What letter does it look like? Um, Y. It's kind of like a Y, doesn't it? But we're not going to use it this direction, are we? No. We're going to use it like this, because these are going to be your person's what? Legs. Legs, because we're going to show yes. their... No action line going all through their legs so we'll add some arms and stuff up here in a minute i'm going to get to that when i switch to the top down view johnny is going to be making option one um for the assignment and that is an action line that is created jumping. his is going to be jumping he says um using a stick that you find outside now where do we go to find this johnny in the backyard. In the backyard. Um, I know not everyone might not have access to a backyard and things like that, but if you have trees around your house or grass or anything like that, odds are you probably have little sticks like this laying around that you could go find to do this part of the assignment. Um, I, like I said, was going to be using aluminum foil. So I'm going to be making a little foil sculpture of a person in motion. Um, and remember, if you read and went through the Google Slides presentation before this and checked out the assignment, I said it was a little bonus challenge to see if you could make your sculpture stand up on their own, as you can see I've done here. Um, the way I did this is I started off with actually three pieces of foil, um, and then I take the foil and I almost just kind of roll it up. Johnny doesn't like the sound of the foil. 
roll it up like this to make strips. I start with them kind of thick at first and then you can squeeze them together to make them thinner if you need to for things like maybe a smaller part for a leg or an arm. Um, but I use one main part for the body and then the other two parts I use to make arms and legs. Um, so I took one piece that you can just kind of take here and you can see how you can just sort of take pieces. Like yeah, it does look like a cross there, but you can wrap them around to attach things to make arms, legs, and all sorts of things like that. Um, so I can use my other foil piece here to wrap around there to make the leg um, or whatever other pieces I need to make. Um, and you'll find that it sticks together pretty good, especially if you wrap it around itself like that. Um, and it's pretty manipulatable so that you can make these balance pretty easily if you just play around with the position of everything. Give yourself some nice flat surfaces for those. So I'll be making one of these in the time lapse in a little bit. Um, hey, wake up. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna be starting on Johnny's portion of the lesson now though. That's option one. Um, I'm gonna switch to the top down view. We'll talk to him for a little bit, then we'll switch to the time lapse and we'll show you guys what we come up with. Okay. All right, so here we are. Johnny's got his paper, he's got his stick. Do you have a pencil? Yeah. Gonna need one of those. And we're gonna need a Sharpie marker. And what are you gonna paint in the back? Or are you gonna fill in the background with it? Are you gonna use paint? Or are you gonna use crayons? Or are you gonna use oil pastel? You wanna use watercolors, don't you? I knew you'd say that. All right, so Johnny, go ahead and set your stick down on your paper. Set it down the way you want the stick to be to add parts to it. What do you think? Should we do it like this? Yeah? Yes. And have this be a leg and this be a leg? So this looks like we have this whole leg here, but part of this leg looks like it's missing because that's too short. So where would you draw the rest of that leg? Maybe make a line like that uh -huh. going down because the knee is bent. Remember, we want to show that action. Good job, perfect, buddy. All right, now up here, up top, we would also need arms, right? So we need an arm on this side and an arm on this side. But remember, our arms bend at our elbows, okay? So they don't have to be a straight line, they can be two lines. You can have one line that maybe goes over and up, or one that goes over and down. Can you draw lines for your arms now? They should be at the very top of the stick. Okay, very good. Okay, now look at those. Do you think those arms are too short or too long? Too short. Too short. So maybe let's, should we erase them or just make the forearms longer? What do you think? I think both parts are too short, don't you? Yeah. But we can just erase that and erase that and then just keep going. Okay, so why don't you do that real quick. Erase the parts where you bent it and then we'll make them a little bit longer. That way our proportions aren't off. Very good. Are you the other one? It's okay if the stick moves. All right, so you think you need to make those longer first? Uh -huh. Maybe bring it out to right about there. Like well. Just go over a little bit. That's good. Okay. And then go over a little bit. Good job. All right, now make the elbow and then make the other part that goes down. But that needs to be longer too, don't forget. Okay, just as long as the first part. Do you think that's as long as that? Okay, let's make that go down maybe to right where my finger is, don't you think? Uh -huh. Yeah. Good job. Okay, now make another one over there. Which is this one down? Uh, I don't know, your person's running. So let's think here. They've got one arm pointing down. Should they have one arm pointing up or pointing down? Do you run and jump like this or do you run and jump like this? I think you should have maybe this one pointing up, don't you? Uh -huh. Okay, so let's erase that. Okay, you got it. All right, now make it point up. Very good, okay, now you need to draw a head on top of it too. Okay, very good. All right, so um, once you have your stick down and you've added in where your arms and your legs and your head are going to be, okay, then the next step is going to be removing your stick actually, and we're going to trace over all these lines with some sort of a black utensil. I have a Sharpie marker, 
You could also use a black crayon, a black colored pencil, a black oil pastel, whatever you have, okay? All right. So we're gonna flip over to the time lapse. And what Johnny's gonna do is he's gonna trace these lines, okay? And then we're gonna draw a shape all the way around the outside of where his person and his stick would be. And then we're gonna fill in the background with some color in a little bit um, before we show you guys the finished product. Product, Okay, are you ready, buddy? Yes. Okay, all Daddy. right. So switching to the time lapse, we'll see you guys back here in just a minute. Daddy. So we are all done. Um, Johnny got done with his stick action line figure. I got done with, actually made two foil sculptures. One of them I made a shadow for. You know, you guys can't see this in the video, but Johnny, um, and for those of you out there, maybe the little ones that chose to do this assignment this week, would you tell us about what we made? Um, action lines. Action line, okay. And what is your person doing? Jumping. Jumping. He's jumping across it. He's jumping across. He's jumping over a the finish line. Perfect. And Johnny followed the example and just made one big one. Maybe you don't have, you know, sticks this large and you want to make a, more than one. Feel free to find smaller sticks. They don't have to be this big. You could make a whole group of, of action line figures with sticks doing all sorts of things. Maybe they're playing a sport or there's a battle going on or they're running and jumping i don't know see what you can come up with um but that's his example of that and then mine i gotta grab the camera to show you these um so i have two here that i made i have yeah, one on the right's doing a headstand and i added a shadow to that you can see how i kind of pretended like the light was shining from this direction casting the shadow out notice it can stand up on its own all i did was bend the hands and make them nice and even with the head he and then balance up. out the legs and you can Daddy. stand up just fine he probably could stand up on his feet but leave it alone we're not gonna do that right now and then the other guy is just kind of break dancing or something here i didn't add a shadow for him yeah that one's gonna be a little bit more complex to add a shadow to but that's what we came up this week with this week um show me your assignments don't forget to submit them under the assignment tab and We'll see you back next week for our next lesson. No, no, okay? no, no, uh, Or whatever he said. Bye, guys. Make a mouse clubhouse. All right. See ya. <laughs>